how do you protect your peaches? You know, these peaches are growing here. It's, they're actually growing quite crazy in my peach tree. There's another peach tree right here. And I have a lot of them. And here where I live, I have squirrels and raccoons and other animals and birds and whatever other animals they come and they take a bite of your peach and they just leave it. Don't you get angry at that? So let's talk today about how to protect your peaches from animals. Welcome to Self-Sufficient Urban Gardening. Out of all the different methods of protecting your fruit from animals and birds and raccoons and squirrels, this one is the one that I found that works the best. You can see here I have lots of these uh, containers. They're plastic containers that we have because I've been collecting them for about a year now. Uh, and these containers are fruit containers that you buy at the grocery store. So when you buy strawberries or blueberries or raspberries or whatever fruit that comes in these plastic containers, then you can use them to protect your fruit from your fruit tree. And these animals are really not going to be able to go through it. So here I have an example of these plastic containers. This is a strawberry container. And as you can see, there's a little click system here that you click and then it won't open anymore. You can see now it's there. And here, it's another side, you click and it gets stuck so you put your peaches in here on the tree and this will protect from birds and squirrels and everything else and there's actually a bonus the bonus is that this will protect the peach from falling because when the peaches get mature enough they can fall and when they hit the the ground they may open or they get uh you know they're not good anymore so this is another reason uh, to protect your peaches from falling so this will help with that too so let me show you how I do it all right so now you're inside my peach forest my tomato forest is gone but the peach forest is still here you can see here I have peaches growing in these branches there are peaches everywhere but these peaches here they're growing in different branches as you can see one here another one here and a couple over there and with these big containers where strawberries come you can wrap a few around at the same time so here we go let's see how many i can wrap in this one container here with this one here two one two three different branches i'm gonna get uh, all of them uh in here and let's see if i can clip this clip and then this other side clip one there you go clipped so you can see here I have one two three four five five peaches in one container so these containers because they're so big you can wrap a few around and the smaller containers like the ones I have up here you just wrap one or two around whichever is uh, in the cluster and these are reusable right so you can use them for the peaches that are getting ripe and then once they fall into the into the container and you can go ahead and eat them and you can transfer the container to wrap another peach so this is a pretty good method that i found when finding protection for your peaches you have to uh, keep in mind two things first is you need to protect the peaches from animals and second you want the peaches to continue to have sunlight so the plastic bags the plastic containers that i have here they allow the sun to go through so the peaches still get sunlight some other methods of protection such as organic sprays to keep the uh, animals away they may contaminate somehow your peaches they may uh, have a different flavor especially the skin where you spray and of course when you have a tree like I have here or a few trees spraying each one of the peaches both sides 
would be just a lot of work. While this method here is pretty easy, pretty simple, and pretty fast. And again, you can transfer it to other peaches as they start getting ripe. So the other thing that is an advantage of this is, of course, uh, we are reusing plastic. I kept the plastic containers that I've been collecting for this whole year from the grocery store and here they are being reused instead of going straight into the trash. Of course, we want to reduce our plastic consumption, but you know, they sell uh, strawberries and blueberries in plastic containers at our grocery store, so that's what we end up having. And this is just another way of reusing and not uh, just throwing everything in the trash at once. I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say that it looks ugly with all these plastic containers hanging on your tree. Sure, it might look ugly to you, but for me, this is protection. And I'm, uh, you know, thinking here, I'm rather be protected against all these birds and squirrels and everything else in my backyard than just having a pretty tree with the peaches red, but I can't eat anything. So protection here is everything in this case. So yeah, it might look ugly, but I'm going to eat those peaches for sure. So let me know in the comments below if you also like eating peaches. If you like the idea of plastic containers as a protection from animals and birds, subscribe to the channel and enjoy your garden.